Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I feel like I'm being exposed. <laughs> this is only the things that were in my new makeup drawer and they don't even all fit in frame here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. Things that are still in boxes that are actually like not even new. <laughs> They're like two years old possibly. Some things are actually new and that is like the purpose of doing this. Well, actually I wasn't even gonna film this. I just was reorganizing my room a little and I realized I didn't have space for some things. And then I opened my new makeup drawer and it was a disaster. So I pulled everything out and I put it on the floor. And I was like, I should just film like the process of me thinking through <laughs> my life choices now. Thinking through, um, yeah, all of this stuff, where I want to put it and get organized better. So yeah, let's just get started. I guess we'll start with the mascara here. So you can't even see this. This is my mascara cup and I normally don't like, well, my new mascara cup. So these are mascaras that I have not opened. And normally I don't like to have more than what fits in this cup, but I have um, all of these <laughs> extra. So I thought, Maybe I should just stop keeping the boxes of everything because do I really need it? I mean, sometimes like these boxes that have all the claims on the, the side, I like to keep that because I don't remember what the mascara is supposed to do, but it's kind of taking up too much room. So let's see which of these this one is the Their Real Magnet and I feel like this is not new and I've had this for a while. Do I really need all this box? It says extreme length, powerful lift, 40% longer. Extender brush with magnetically charged core draws lashes out to extreme lengths. Okay. I don't know if that's, you know, how accurate, or not how accurate, how, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I just feel it's weird to have a magnet in a mascara. I don't understand what that would do because a magnet, you need two sides, right? I don't know. So yeah, I have this. It still says on the container like powerful lifting and lengthening mascara so i'll know that it's a lifting and lengthening mascara as opposed to like a volumizing one i suppose so i'm gonna put this back in my little cup i should move this so you can see what i'm doing then they give beauty mascara the can't stop staring this is pretty new to me i think i can't remember now if this came in a boxy charm or if I bought it. This one here. Um, I think I'll take it out of the box because this box is not, like it's not telling me anything I don't know. Yeah, lengthening and lifting mascara again. I mean, I normally don't buy non, like I don't buy mascaras that just say volumizing normally. So I don't need this box, I don't think. And then this one is not new at all. This definitely came in a boxy charm. It's the Oma Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. And it's in the shade Chem. Salute to the Sun Mascara. I think this is the one, I have to open this because it's not colored, or is it? Oh no, that's black. Um, it's kind of like 
deceiving because you would think wouldn't you think that's like a navy mascara from the packaging but it's it's black right <laughs> or am i no that's black so okay and it actually felt extremely dry i'm not even sure if it's still good but we'll keep it in here to try this one is very old too i won't even open it but it's already out of the box anyway, so that's okay. This is the whole lot of mascara. I forget what this brand is called. And I can't read it. BFC? I don't know. Another BoxyCharm mascara. This one I got, again, in a BoxyCharm. The MAC Magic Extension 5mm Fiber Mascara. Okay, so this must be a tubing mascara. Enriched with the color amplifying crystal elixir powder. What do you mean? <laughs> color amplifying. Isn't it black? Okay. See why I keep I need to keep boxes because these companies are getting just crazy with their explanations. That's what the packaging looks like. Yeah, it's in extensive black. Five millimeter fiber mascara. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it means tubing mascara. I think I might actually like this a lot because whenever a mascara has a wand like this, it's usually my favorite. So I'm excited to try that. But again, it's not time for me to open a new mascara. This mascara, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, I just got this in that Sephora Favorites kit that I have the video on. So I'm just going to put it right in here. I know what that is. I've used it before. Then the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water. Um, I think this was an add-on from Ipsy. I keep saying BoxyCharm, Ipsy. It's the same thing. This is the Clean Mascara, Zero Smudge, Volumizing, and Curling. I have heard people like to use this as their lower lash line mascara. That's the packaging. It says Clean Mascara. Yeah, it says the same thing on the packaging. So I think I'll just get rid of this box. And I think these may all fit in here now. This one was a sample from Sephora, the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. This is a lash primer serum. Oh, it's a lash primer. <laughs> See, I didn't even know that. Oh, you know what? I should actually, I have a lash primer in my everyday makeup drawer. You might know if you've seen my other videos and it's been in there for years. Maybe I should just replace it with this one. I never use lash primers, but maybe I should try Triple Action Lash Primer Serum, Volume Curl and Definition. Just a mini. I don't know yet. I'll just put it in here for now because it fits. I just don't know if I want to get rid of the other one, which is a full size. And it's still, like, there's nothing wrong with it, so I feel kind of bad just getting rid of it because it's not like it's something I would pass on to anybody. So I'll just get rid of this box. I don't need that. So at least now my mascaras fit in my cup again. And this means I can't get any more mascaras because nothing, I don't think anything else will fit in here unless it's like a very mini sample. So that's the mascaras. See all this packaging that was taking up so much room? Yeah, I need to get rid of that. Okay, then we have like stacks. Oh, you can see my, my socks. If you can read this. <laughs> oh, bring me some wine. Yes. I got these from my aunt. <laughs> anyway, okay, yeah, stacks of palettes. So these are eyeshadow and face palettes. 
and this is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to decide which of these I'll keep in this new makeup drawer and which I will put away in my face palette drawer. But the thing about the face palette drawer is that it's at like max capacity and I need to do a declutter. <laughs> so for now, I'll just put things aside and I think there will be another video like decluttering my face palette drawer. This whole thing might turn into like a declutter, like organize with me series because I also have to film my inventory. So that could be something. Anyway, let's just get on to this. So this first one on the pile, the Natasha Denona Retro Glam palette. This does not need to be in my new makeup drawer. I have palettes from Natasha Denona that are newer than this one. And I think I already put them away. So it, this one is just still in here because I haven't used it yet. But that's what it looks like. I hope it will fit in my... Um, in my palette drawer with the other Natasha Denona palettes because I want to keep them stored by brand so I will put that aside for putting away in my palette drawer. I don't need the box anymore. Then I have the Teresa's Lethal um, palette. I haven't used this yet. That's what it looks like very fun shades in here. Um, this one, I guess I should put it away because I, it's not like I'll do a video on this at this point. This is an old collab. I'm not even sure if it's still available. So I think I'll put this in my palette drawer. I have another palette from Lethal Cosmetics that I bought at the same time, but this is like a build your own kind of thing. But it was already, like this is how you're supposed to build it kind of thing. You can do whatever you want, obviously, but that's the image they had on their website. And I think it actually had a name, like the Hive Collection, I wanna say. So yeah, I haven't used this yet. I don't know if you can even get it anymore because it was in the sale section. So I think I'll put that away also. Here we have another Natasha Denona palette. This is the Metropolis palette. This one, yeah, I should put this away too because I think this has been discontinued. Oh, there's my... <laughs> I think this has been discontinued, right? Because, I don't know. Anyway, we can't get Natasha Denona at Sephora Canada anymore, which is like kind of mean. But <laughs> anyway, I haven't used this yet. Uh, I'll put it away. I'm starting to doubt that these Natasha Denona palettes will fit in my drawers. I might have to do a palette declutter also. This one is actually a face palette. This is the Patrick Ta Major Holiday face palette. I think I'll put this one away too because it's a holiday release and it's not very relevant to... Because the purpose of my new makeup drawer is it's kind of also a place where I keep things that I might want to do videos on. So it doesn't really make sense to me to have holiday releases in here when it's almost March when I'm filming this. So, well, it's February 16th, but life just moves so fast these days. So it feels like it's almost March. Anyway, this is the palette. It's reflecting my entire room. And it looks like this. Very pretty. Um, yeah. I should put this, though, in my face palette drawer. 
Pixi, another Natasha Denona palette, the Retro palette, as opposed to the Retro Glam. This one is actually new to me because I got it from Ipsy. It was only $25, so I added it to my order because these palettes are like $86 Canadian. So it looks like that. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be filming this way or this way. Oh, that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> that's this one here. Uh, yeah. I will put this away because it's not new again. And then I have a face palette here from Seraphine Botanicals, the Geranium and Glow Blush and Highlight Palette. This is newer. It came in a boxy charm. Ipsy, sorry. <laughs> I'll never get used to saying Ipsy. I remember this is very pretty, yes. Very like pinks. Um, and also a highlighter. That can go in my face palette drawer. This is a, another face palette, I think. Bienvenido Sam Yami. <laughs> Oh, I love how I said it like that because um, of that Will Smith song. That's just how I always say Bienvenido a Miami. Mini Mix Face Palette. Okay. Yes. This is a face palette. For a second I was like, is this eyeshadow and face? But no, that is actually the blush shade, which is very fun and unique to my collection. Um... I will put this in my face palette drawer. I actually, so this came in an Ipsy and, well, it was supposed to come in an Ipsy, but I never got it. So I had to like go on their website and there's like a form you can fill out if you're missing something in your box. So they sent this to me separately. I was like, where's my face palette that I was supposed to get? They've been having a lot of issues since they transitioned or like BoxyCharm sold to Ipsy. I have issues like a lot, almost every other month and it's getting kind of annoying and I think I might cancel for next year. I already paid like the full, like I paid for a year so I have to see when my subscription expires or whatever because it's getting annoying like i said um yeah let's continue with some more palettes this is the two faced popcorn bubbles that i got um during the holidays i love the color story but i haven't used it yet and now you know it was a holiday release so i should put that away with my other mini Too Faced palettes. Probably it won't fit, but we'll see. I also have the House Labs by Lady Gaga Eye, li Eye Library eyeshadow palette. I think I hauled this in a video, so you might have seen this already. This will go in my mini eyeshadow drawer. I think I actually might keep this in my new makeup drawer because I have, which you'll soon see, I have another new product from House Labs and I might do a video, keep this aside, I, although I'm not even sure if it's still available. Um, the Too Faced Italian Spritz, this I had to buy in the States because they don't sell this palette in Canada because it's an Ulta exclusive so this isn't new but it's new to me and people say this is like one of Too Faced best palettes ever so I'm very excited to use it this is kind of you know spring summer vibes so I should use it soon but does it need to be in my new makeup drawer palette I mean my new makeup drawer I guess not. I'll put that with my Too Faced palettes. This palette is from Trace Luce, I think. 
that's probably not how you say it actually. Um, the Dolce Vita Shadow Palette with Cake Liners. Oh yes, I remember this now. This palette is very pretty. The color story, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's very summer to me. Um, so the Cake Liners are these ones that have like the name in, in blue. Um, this brown and this black, I guess that's a black. Yeah. So that could be fun to try. I've never tried any um, other stuff from this brand, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, look at this packaging. It's very cute. I think I'll keep this in my new makeup drawer. Then I have the Anastasia Cosmos palette, which is a shame. <laughs> I never got around to using this. And I think this has a broken shade in it, so I'm going to be careful. Yeah, so this shade here came broken when I ordered it from Sephora. Um, but really pretty but I think I can put this with my other Anastasia palettes because it's not new anymore and you know everybody's done videos on this already the Wander Beauty Sweet Escape this has been in here for a while and I keep meaning to use it because I love the colors look at this these are like my favorite colors right now Oh, yeah. Look at this one. It looks so pretty. Um, but I guess I'll put it away because I don't even know where you buy Wonder Beauty. If this palette is even still available. It seems like it's probably limited edition. So I'll put that with my other palettes. Oh, this one. The Melt... Monarcha um, face palette. It's actually a blush palette. This can go in my face palette drawer because this is not new. I bought it when it was on sale. There's the, the colors. Very pretty. Look at this one. That looks fun. This can go in my face palette drawer. And then the Tarte Big Ego I remember hauling this in a video. Looks like that. Yeah, I definitely like swatched this and everything. So, um, I did want to do a Tarte video, but I don't see the problem with the makeup industry. Everything comes and goes so fast. I'm not even sure if this is still a thing. But I'll just keep it in my new makeup drawer for now um, to remind myself about doing a, a Tarte video. Um, this is the Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics, but the new version. I bought this because it was on sale. It looks like this. I love the packaging. It's very grungy, like swampy greens. Yeah, and I'm excited to use this. This is, yeah, not new. And I don't really I think I'll do a specific video featuring this. So I think I can put this in my, in my drawer. I don't know why I put it back in the box though. I mean, this is not a bulky box, so maybe I'll just keep it like that for now and not mess anything up. I have another Too Faced palette, the Cosmic Crush palette. I bought this when this collection released with the highlighter. I've already put the highlighter away, and I think this palette got really bad reviews. It went on sale very quickly, so I'm not going to do a video 
on this. I don't even know if it's still available. I think they've already discontinued it. Yeah, I probably should not have even bought this because it's not super exciting when I look at it. But I think I was just really curious about this collection. Um, yeah, I'll put that away with my Too Faced palettes. And then I have the three palettes I bought from Cosmic Brushes, which I still have not used. The Delicious Delights, the Serenity, and the Muse palette. This came in a bundle. Uh, I do really want to use these palettes, and I did have one of you say you wanted to see them. So I'm going to keep these in my makeup drawer to remind me to do a video. And I'm pretty sure you can still get all of these um, palettes from them. So. I think I will get on that because I really want to use them. Let's just look at them again very quickly. This is the Delicious Delights. Look at that. This would be a really fun summer palette. Even spring because it's kind of like pastel -y. And these are all 20 shade palettes so they're quite large. <laughs> This is the Serenity. I love the green and purple shades in here. I love that um, Cosmic Brushes is like colorful, but you know those like mid-tone colors that aren't, you know, rainbow kind of thing. They don't use primary colors, it seems, very often. And that's how I like my colors to be like more like dusky and dusky. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like muted kind of. And like colors that, oh, I already took the sleeve off this. Colors that are mixed with other colors. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like for example, this is like a, a blue green. It's not a blue, it's not a green. It's a mixture in between colors. So yeah, very excited. This was the, uh, no, the Muse. This one is more like a fall palette, I would say for me. But I would like to do like a one video using all of these, like one look from each palette. That could be fun. So those will stay in this drawer. Then I have some actually new things. <laughs> Like I just got these on Tuesday. This came in my um, Ipsy Icon box, which was previously Boxy Charm, Boxy Lux box. So that's why there's like a lot of, wait, not this, I bought that at Sephora. <laughs> um, there's more like higher end things, I guess is what I'm trying to say, like Sephora brands. So we got, and this box was curated in quotation marks because I don't know what that means when a box is curated by like a celebrity because this one was Gwen Stefani so hence why we got like her lipstick in the box but this was the beautiful skin Charlotte's beautiful skin foundation for your best healthy looking skin day every day um, I feel like I've heard not good things about this. Uh, I haven't even opened this, but I did get the shade 4 Neutral. That was the option for me. So I think they are like getting better at knowing your preferences. Like your, If you fill out the, the beauty quiz or whatever, they'll know. Yeah. Didn't this get bad reviews? I'm not sure if I'm confusing this with the other, the Airbrush Flawless one. Because this sounds like something I would like. Um, it is a foundation though. Like it's not a skin tint or anything. And it says, uh, but it does say skin looks more radiant by up to 285%. But then it says long lasting. A medium coverage, light as air foundation infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid, brightening rose complex, 
Skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time for a healthy looking glow and brighter, smoother looking complexion. Like that sounds good. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the box for this one because I literally got it like two days ago. And I also think I wanna do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury video. So I'll keep that here for the Gwen Stefani, you know, um, product. We got her um, Original Me High Performance Matte Lipstick in the shade Lovable Me. And this is actually like the one lip product I didn't buy from her <laughs> collection. I also have in this box over here that I'll show you, I have a lip gloss and this I've tried in a video, I'm pretty sure already. This is the Spark the Fire Plumping Lip Balm. So now I also have the matte lipstick. And I didn't buy this originally because I, I don't know if I really like matte lipsticks anymore. Even when they're in bullet form, I feel like sometimes they just, you know, sit in your lip lines. But I haven't tried this yet and the color looks really nice. That's the shade Lovable Me. So I'm kind of excited about this. Did I ever do that? No, I didn't do that. the Give Beauty video either. <laughs> so I might do that just for fun. Although I think I've said in previous videos, I don't know if people are really loving that brand because it seems like Everything they make goes on sale very quickly. And actually the stuff that I've bought from them, I found at Winners, which is TJ Maxx, if you're in the States. So that's not usually a good sign for a brand. Anyway, um, I also got this Tower 28 Super Dew, but this is the no shade. So it's a shimmer free highlight balm. It's literally just like a clear balm for your face. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'll try it. I don't know if I love these balm type highlighters, but I'll give it a go. And then what I was really excited about is we got the Dominique Essential Palette in the box. And this is something I wanted, but I can't buy Dominique in Canada anymore because they are not sold at Sephora anymore. But this looks really pretty. I mean, it's very basic. It's called the Essential Palette though, so that's kind of what they were going for. Like this would be your essentials. And yeah, I'm very excited to try this. Because actually the Dominique Latte Palette is one of my favorites, so I kind of have high hopes for this, although I don't know if she like changed her formula because the latte palette is pretty old. Um, so yeah, I'll have to give this a go, but this will be in my new makeup drawer because like I said, I just got it um, two days ago. Um, and then we come to the final box. This is actually pretty organized already. Um, I'm trying to get this in frame. So I don't think I have much to do here. I, I mean, there is some old things in here, like this Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. I think this has been in here for like three years. <laughs> so does it really? I think I just keep it in here because I will not be able to fit this in my primer drawer. But I might need to do something about that also. Yeah, this should not be in here anymore. I also have the Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum in here. Again, mostly because it will not fit anywhere else. I'll see what happens. I'll put it aside, but if I can't fit in my drawer, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, this can definitely, I'll put these in my lip balm container because this is ancient. The Revlon, Revlon Kiss Exfoliating Balm. And then this um, like regular lip balm. I bought this years ago. It was on like liquidation. I bought this when I lived at my condo and it's still in the box. And 
it's because I found this like when I was unpacking my boxes in the basement this was in like where I would keep my bathroom stuff and then I was like oh I forgot about this and I do like this lip balm I haven't tried the scrub ever but the lip balm I actually think I finished a full one of those in the past so yeah this needs to go away in my lip balm stash this what is this context dual lip pencil this is new i mean as in it came in a nipsy maybe last month but does it need to be in here oh, those shades look very pretty I don't even know anything about this brand. I don't know where you can find it. So I think I'll just put this in my lip balm container. Um, my lip liner container. Yeah, this is what I said before, the Give Beauty uh, Plumping Lip Balm. I'm pretty sure I already tried this in a video, right? Yeah, I definitely used this already. So it doesn't need to be in my new makeup drawer anymore and plus now i have a newer lip product from give beauty to try so i'll put that with my lipsticks that's the shade lol by the way i don't know if there are multiple shades of the lip plumping balm but i guess there is since it has a name this is the glossier future dew oil serum hybrid Mm. This is a, actually a like a sample and it's a nice like big size in a glass bottle. Um, I don't think, I think I thought I was going to do a Glossier video but honestly I'm not that intrigued. Like we did just get Glossier available at Sephora Canada and previously we could not even order Glossier in Quebec so it you'd think i'd be more excited but i'm really not like i just don't know if glossier is my kind of brand i don't know what i'm trying to say i might love this i don't know but it doesn't need to be in here because i'm not going to do a video like about this because in the states you guys have had glossier for like since its inception so does anybody care? <laughs> I don't know. Um, another Give Beauty product. This is the All Time Prime Multi-Use Prep and Smooth Face Oil. I definitely want to try this. This is a product I found at Winners for $9.99. And this is like 60 something dollars at Sephora. So you bet I, <laughs> you know, bought that right up. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I do want to try this and I might do a video. So I'll keep this in here. Uh oh. Okay. This is a lipstick from Pat McGrath that I got in my last icon box, which was curated by Pat McGrath. This is the Matte Trance lipstick in. Elson, this is a red lipstick and it doesn't need to be in here. I don't love this version of the packaging. I like it better when it's the lips, but yeah, I have this and look at this color. Oh, it's very beautiful, but doesn't need to be in my new makeup drawer. I don't think so. It can be with my other Pat McGrath lipsticks. This is the other Give Beauty um, Bubble Pop, well, the other Give Beauty lip product, the Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Lip Gloss in Electric Pansy. I bought it in this shade because I wanted something different, so it's like a bright magenta. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll keep this in my new makeup drawer. Oh, and then I have, so from my last collective haul where I did like a mini drugstore haul, I put those products in here. 
the Physician's Formula Diamond Last Mineral Wear Lip Cream. I want to try that. And this should not be in here because this is a backup. The NYX This Is Everything Lip Oil. This can go in my collection. I have the Too Faced Kissing Jelly Gloss Juicy Lip Oil. I do really want to try this. I think I'll keep it in here. Oh, I'll just show you. I got the shade Pina Colada, so it's really kind of basically clear with gold. This is, oh my god, this should not be in here anymore. The LYS Beauty um, No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. This needs to go on my collection. It's been in here forever. This again was new from the drugstore, the Physician's Formula Butter Glow. I'm going to keep it in here to do like a drugstore try on. Same with this Cover Girl, Cover Girl Clean Color Spiced Copper <laughs> Eyeshadow Palette. I want to try their formula. This Tower 28 Serum Corrector. Oh, Serum Concealer. I just got this for Christmas, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna keep that in here. Again, another product to try in a drugstore video, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, the contour shade. I'm just gonna go through this stuff quickly because this video is getting long. <laughs> The LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. This should not be in here either. Uh, yeah, this is one of the oldest things in my new makeup drawer. The Cali Ray Big Swell Hydrating Glassy Lip Plumper. I have actually used this already and I've talked about it in a video, but I do think I wanna do a Cali Ray video, so I'm gonna keep that in here. Also, same with the setting spray sample and the Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. I wanna try, I hope this is not discontinued because it's in the sales section and it's been there for a while now, so. Well, I'll have to see before I do a video. Oh, this REM Beauty. I bought this when I got the Italian Spritz palette because we didn't have REM Beauty in Canada, but now we do. So I could have waited and not paid the American dollars for it. But anyway, I got the shade Lab Coat. And by the way, this is the Midnight Shadows Liquid Eyeshadow. And I got this because it seemed like everybody who tried REM Beauty when it first came out, this was like their favorite thing they tried and in this specific shade. So yeah, it looks really pretty. It's like one of these. It looks like a lip gloss, but it's an eyeshadow. Oh yeah, that looks stunning. It's um, like a pink to blue blue shift, I want to say. So that could be really pretty. Um, this is technically a drugstore product to me because we can buy it at the Canadian drugstore now at Shoppers. Um, so I think I might try that in my drugstore video. Oh, this is quite new. The Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipstick in the shade Bronx Baby. I just had to try this. Um, I like to try Makeup by Mario. Oh, I just ripped the box, so I guess I don't need that anymore. I like to try Makeup by Mario's new products because um, I, I like his brand. And this is a nice, like, luxe feeling kind of packaging. It's magnetic. And this shade looks really pretty. This was actually like at Sephora on the display. It said this was Mario's like favorite shade. So 
I'm excited to try that. I should keep it in here because it's still new. Um, same with this. I hauled this in my last Sephora haul, the Anastasia Lip Velvet in the shade Parchment. And I swatched it in that video, so I'll just keep it in the box. It's still new. Um, this cannot, this should not be in here. The Fenty Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette in the shade 4 Rose. I got this in a boxy charm, ipsy, whatever. And these are not new at all. That's the shade. It's very pretty. But this can go in my mini eyeshadow palette drawer. Oh, this. This doesn't need to be in here either. The Barbie ColourPop Golden Beach Lip Duo. This is just one that I haven't used yet. The other ones I did actually put away, so I might as well just put this away too because I don't even know if you can still get this collection. This is um, very new, as in it was in my last Ipsy for last month. The Ciate Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Perfector. I'm not going to start using this yet because I'm trying to use up my Tatcha the Pearl and I feel like I would just use this product in the same way. But this, oh, it has a, <laughs> I was going to show you. Anyway, that's the color. It's in the shade light. I think there's only two options. So this is the light one. I'm not going to open that yet because I don't need to. Um, I'll keep it in here, although I don't think it's a new product, like on the market. Um, I also got this recently from Ipsy, the Il Maquillage Color Boss Quad Multi-Dimensional Eye Color Quad in the shade Trendsetter. I think this was one of the options that I chose. This is like heavy. Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting <laughs> that to be the shade considering this is the packaging. I thought it was going to be like warm browns, but it's actually like you know, mauve tones. So not very unique to my collection, but I've never tried Il Maquillage before. So I'll keep that in here. Okay, I need to speed this up because my memory card is running out, running low. Um, these Tarte palettes, I hauled these in a video. These are like a holiday release. They should be put away. I don't know where they're gonna fit, but they shouldn't be in here anymore. Um, then I have more Give Beauty stuff, and there's, like, cat hair. <laughs> okay. Um, Give Beauty, another thing I found at Winners for $12.99. Oh, this is the eyeshadow palette in Just a Girl. This will stay in here, because I think I will do that video, just for my own curiosity, even. This is the shade. And then the Give Beauty Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I was very excited about this, but then I put in this drawer and forgot about it. I have the shade Toasting. Oh, these are hard to open. Oh. oh, it looks like I did at least swatch this. Did I use this already? I don't remember. But you have a cream bronzer and... Well, a cream contour and a bronzer shade. Oh, and there's like a strong fragrance to it for some reason. Like a perfume fragrance. It's very weird. I just remembered that. <clears throat> and then the Check My Glow Multidimensional Illuminating Highlighter in Platinum Cowgirl. This is very pretty, if I remember correctly, and I love the packaging. Yes, this is the one that reminds me of the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips or whatever it's called. Yes. This one too has like a perfume. Why did they do that? It's weird. Because <laughs> it's not like fruity or like tropical. It's like somebody sprayed a perfume. You know what I mean? 
another give beauty clearly i am interested in this brand i don't know what's stopping me from actually using it this is the feeling cheeky amplifying blush duo in flirty talk oh yeah the one thing that disappointed me about this is that I thought it was going to be like the bronzer duo where you get a cream and a powder but the blush ones they're both powders so I don't know why they did that because cream blush is so popular I don't know why they did two powder shades but anyway looks really pretty nonetheless I think that's everything <laughs> is that it? yes oh no then <laughs> Recently, I got this in my boxy charm, the Anastasia Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. This is kind of intriguing to me. It's a huge pot, and the shade looks really nice, though. I thought it was going to be more like a gray tone, but it actually looks nicely, like, neutral, warm leaning. So, I'm excited about that. And... Oh yeah, this is some um, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder in the Universal shade that I got in that Sephora Favorites kit. Uh, oh, it's all wrapped up, so I'm not going to open it. Anyway, it's clear. <laughs> so, um, should I keep this in here? Because I already have one of these, but in the shade 3, I think it is. I'll keep it in here because I might want to try the clear version as like a primer. Plus, I don't know if you guys saw, Danessa Myricks did the makeup for the Super Bowl halftime show. Or like, she didn't do the makeup, but the makeup artist used um, her products. And everybody had this on and everyone looked great. So, <laughs> I don't know. Although, Escher did look extremely sweaty in the face if you saw <laughs> anyway um i think that's it yeah i have to end this video because i need to clean this huge mess now anyway i hope you guys like this video found something maybe entertaining <laughs> about it um yeah if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more of like probably declutters coming up organizational things, inventory stuff. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see that. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.